Hi, so uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm not in Derbyshire. I'm not in the Peak District at the moment. I'm up in Northumberland. Uh, we managed to get a uh, rather impromptu uh, getaway to this um, lovely little uh, cottage down by the harbour at uh, Craster in Northumberland. And uh, yeah, we hadn't really intended to, to come away um, you know, as soon as the lockdown finished, but it just kind of came up and we were like, right, we're going. So uh, yeah, rather beautiful. It's, um, as you can see, it's a lovely morning. I just thought I'd get down here, uh, wander down by the rocks, I think. Get down on those rocks over there behind me. Get a bit of painting done. I think, uh, you know, whenever I get an opportunity to get by the coast, you know, it's so different to where I live. Um, you know, it's always really exciting, the movement, the energy, you know, just the waves moving. Even on quite a calm morning like this, you just get that kind of sense of movement that you don't get um, so much when you're, uh, you know, somewhere that's more inland. Um, as you know, often I like to try and get uh, near some water if I can to get that sort of sense of movement and energy. But, uh, but you know, it's just all here and it's just so uh, lovely that I couldn't help it. just want to get out, get some painting. I've got Bruce with me today. hope you can see Bruce. What's up, Bruce? There we go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just going to wander off down by the uh, down by the sea, do a little bit of painting, and uh, see how it goes. Okay. What I really love about it uh, up here in particular uh, is a really lovely contrast between the, the blue, sort of steely blue of the water and these really dark rocks that you get here. And also on the rocks there's all this fantastic lichen uh, growing on there. So you're getting this really good mixture of this uh, quite strong colour. A really contrasty tone. So I'm going to try and get a bit more of that in, in there as I go on. Obviously it's early days, but I like to sort of make these little... Um, it's almost like a little note to myself as I'm going along at the start. By, you know, spotting things. And then as it goes along, it can sort of develop. So I'm thinking about dark rocks, a steely blue sea, and lichen. I don't know if you knew, but I've, I've been doing some ceramics over the last year or so. And uh, really the whole idea for that, I mean I've been wanting to do it for a um, when I came up here, oh, it must be a couple of years ago now, for the first time, and I was looking at all the shapes of the rocks and the kind of this kind of uh, and the lichen, these just sort of colours of the lichen, the textures. That was really when I, I just thought, hey, you know, that's that's uh, that's where I need to be, you know, if I'm going to do something in ceramics, you know, that's that's what I'm going to be. So I don't, if you've seen any of my ceramics, that was the the inspiration for the the texture and the colours on them. So it's always important for me to try and, uh, as I go on through a session of sketching, and to just um, try and approach you know, each painting in a slightly different way. I mean, I've done a few now. 
when I've you know got the dark down I like to get down just to give me somewhere to start a bit of water. I'm just trying to sort of um, just do this one in a slightly different way, get some more of these sort of pencil marks in here earlier on. Let's see how that develops. Because I think it's always good to session goes on, I sort of point myself in a slightly different direction, you know, look in a different direction, notice something else, try and find some different shapes, different ways of making marks. You know, that way when I get them back to the studio, I've got this kind of uh, variety of different things, you know, sometimes you know, some things will work better than others. You know, try different ways to apply the paint as well. You know, a little brush, you know, pushing around the fingers, knife, slightly thicker paint straight out of the tub. You know, so it's another type of mark. It being so warm and quite windy, this acrylic will probably dry quite fast. And Hopefully, I'll be able to work into it a little bit, um, go over it without, without disturbing what's underneath if it dries off. It's enough to do that. Get some layers building up. some marks which sort of stand in for the movement of the air, movement of the sea. They may not necessarily directly represent um, these visual, vis you know, visually what, what's there, but they do represent something of the movement and I think that's really important to get that into my painting, to get that sense of movement and try and make marks which are not always just about what I can see but also about how things are actually moving and changing in front of me. I'll stop there. I'll leave that one for a minute I'll either come back into it or decide it's done. But you know I'm probably gonna do a bit of collage with all these later anyway so yeah I might leave that for a minute. Okay, so that'll probably, uh, yeah, probably do for this one. I mean, I'll, um, I'm going to carry on painting. I might go, go a little bit further up, try and change my uh, change my view a little bit. Uh, maybe get a little bit closer down to the uh, down to the sea. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's really nice here. Uh, I think Bruce is ready for a little uh, a little wander. Stretch his legs. <laughs> He's a bit bored. He's very good though. Um, yeah, so you know, I think so like I was saying in the as I was painting. You know, it's just just trying to get this this uh, feeling of what's of what's in front of me. I'm not worrying too much about um, you know making finished pieces of work in any way. And just having a, a good old play with it. And uh, yeah, I mean I've done a few, and I'm going to get a few more done. So hopefully, um, uh, you know, I'll be able to get some collage done as well. I brought some stuff with me, so um, to do that. So yeah, I should be able to get that done. And if I get some pieces of work which look half decent I'll, uh, I'll put them up on my website so uh, you can see them at a sort of higher, higher resolution and I'll try and do them on the end of this video I'm not entirely sure I'm hoping to be able to edit this video and get it up while I'm away so uh, but I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna be able to do that but uh, if I don't uh, it'll be next week so <laughs> anyway um, I hope you're able to get out and do some painting and uh, that this was you know in some way helpful so uh, yeah 
Great. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.